Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 23, verses 1 to 12. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The least shall be the greatest. At first glance, perhaps even at a second glance, this statement seems like an oxymoron, like something similar to, the shortest will be the tallest. But if we look closely at what it means to be the least according to Christ, the aforementioned oxymoronic statement starts to make more sense. By least, Christ is referring to humility. In other words, for the one who is the least arrogant or haughty, will encounter greatness. And here's why. Arrogance, pride, etc. are pretenses created by the ego to cover up any deep-seated insecurities and vulnerabilities one might be harboring. And by doing away with all of this, that is, putting our faith and trust that we are indeed created in the image and likeness of God, the authentic and sincere self begins to emerge because God created all of us with greatness in mind. In essence, all of us are unique masterpieces of God and have no reason to be insecure about anything. But through sin and fear, we fall away from this truth and forget the innate worth and greatness of our being. So we try to cover it up by trying to be someone we are not. So let us constantly remind ourselves to lessen the false selves that does not serve us and increase the greatness that God has ordained for each and every one of us. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and great day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.